So in previous lessons, we, we talked about how to wrap sketches, like we did a puzzle tube together. Today, we're going to spend some time working on wrapping to irregular shapes. So like this is a perfect cylinder, pretty easy stuff. Today, we're going to take a look at how to maybe do something like this, or maybe something like this. So that's our end goal. Let me go ahead and get started. First thing we'll do is actually draw the shape. So I am gonna, I'll fast forward the video here. All right, now that we have just a basic shape drawn, I'm gonna go ahead and shell it make it kind of hollow inside. So we've got something going like this. So just a pretty irregular shape here. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn back on our origin plane. So you can see up here, they've kind of disappeared on us. So I'm just gonna click the eyeball and that will bring all those back out there for us. I like to pick a mid plane, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit sketch here and I'm gonna pick this plane here that bisects it. Now I can also go over here because that's kind of hard to see. I can also go right over here and say slice. And what that'll do is just kind of cut it in half, give us a cross-sectional view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of start maybe maybe as a logo or something I'm supposed to draw here. Now I do want to go ahead and clean that up, so I am gonna go up here to trim and get rid of some of the excess. All right, so I've got something like that. And I'll go ahead and hit finish sketch now and you'll notice that it puts both sides up there. So there's my shape inside there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to modify. Up here at modify, and I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna kind of scroll down until I get to where it says split face. So I'm gonna click split face. Let's see what it comes up with. First thing it says is, what face do you want to split? So, I'm going to say, you know what, give me this one and this one. And while I'm here, I'm just going to come over here, because I want it on both sides. I'll click that one. All right, so I've got all my faces. Or yes, I've got all my faces. Now I want to choose my splitting tool. So I'm actually going to come over here and click on splitting tool. And I'll come in here and click this logo. Now I've got mine to where it says extend splitting tool. Default may not do that, but I like to do it that way and just hit okay. Now what happens is you see your logo pop out there and you're like, well, that's fine and dandy, but what am I supposed to do with that? Well, you go up here to your, put your press and pull tool. It's right up here at the top. So I click it in. And now we'll just come over here and we'll say, all right, well, give me that one and that little bitty piece. And let's drag them out of here. Okay. And there it is. It's totally wrapped irregularly to that shape. And let's do it. Go ahead and make them symmetrical, right? So we'll come over here and click both sides and drag that one out as well. So there's another point one. So it's actually, it's a relatively simple process to go ahead and make that kind of thing happen. There's all kinds of things that this option opens us up. Just to do a split face opens us up to a, a lot of new ideas and a lot of new shapes.